Pasco Fall Road, beautiful resort, and we've got the honor and the privilege of speaking with Sophie. And would you like to tell them a little bit about you? First of all, you came from the United States. I'm a retiree from the United States. I decided I wanted to move out. I wanted to, speak, wanted to go to a country where I could speak English. I didn't want to have to learn Spanish at this HML. I can get frustrated because I couldn't think. So Belize was it. Because in Belize is officially English. It is. And as soon as I got here, just something shifted and released. And my heart opened up in such ways that I have not ever experienced before. I just love, love the climate, love the people, uh, love the friends that I've made and the life that I'm living. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm in. Sign me in. Yeah, it's, it's a place. <laughs> you get why I live here too, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, you have been here for quite some time, and and I know that you work with the San Ignacio Humane Society and mm -hmm. do some really amazing, amazing, wonderful things with the animals. And now you've also added to that repertoire of helping people, or animals and people, is with the library. And so we didn't used to have this library in San Ignacio like we do now. Can you tell us about that? Because it's exciting. Well, when I first moved here, the library was in the mayor's office building. It was literally in a closet. It was just damp and dark, and they never had any books. They had nothing. They just had a book that had been there from other other libraries that had been donated, and it was just there. And nobody was very ambitious and industrious or whatever. But a year ago. Uh, we moved into this brand new historic building, the Bliss Building. Um, Mr. Bliss is a man who donated a lot, a lot of money to Believe never having put his foot on here. He just sat on his ship and just pushed out the money. So we have Bliss Day for that because he, he did so much for the country. And this is an old Bliss Building that turned into a meat market that then was renovated to a beautiful library right on the, I guess it's the Mokan River. Yeah. Mokan, we'll Mokal by Hawks Cook Bridge. Mm -hmm. And it's light and airy and spacious. And when you walk in, you think, oh, yes. And that's when I started getting really active. I was always going to the library two or three times a week. But as soon as I saw what they had done and what's possible, I thought that I could perhaps help and contribute my vision. Because I envision which in an administrative type of a way that really helps things moving if I don't keep my mouth quiet. <laughs> but you are a doer for but sure. I am, yeah, I am a doer and that's, that's just the way it is. And I like being active and I like participating. And the librarian, Teresita, and I have become very, very good friends. And she's an amazing young woman. Uh, who is called the Senior Library Clerk, and she's reading the library. And she has these wonderful ideas, and I just tap into those. We just have lunch once a month, and we, we, we draw about what what is possible, what, what can be done. And the way I see this library, the way I view it, is that it's not a library. And it should not be a library. Um, it needs to be better than, more than, a library where you go and you check out books. It needs to be a community center. It needs to service the community. It needs to bring in the community on a lot of different levels. So if you don't like to read or if you have difficulty reading or don't want to get it, there are other things to do that will bring you in that are creative, that will help you help the young person. And our emphasis is on the young person. Because that's, that's where the that's where the future of this country is, is in the young people. And if we don't help them, along with other people who are helping them, every little bit helps them. And we create this foundation of excitement and transformation and knowledge to them. So, so I know that my aunt and niece and Marilyn, the librarian, gave us some books to bring yeah. to the library. Do you need more books oh, like that? Yeah, we can always use the books. We, we could use, first and foremost, Children's books of all kinds. Okay. Uh, fiction books. There's a lot of you know expats that really live at the library and they like their fiction. Also, um, nonfiction would be good. You know, whatever 
whatever is available as wants to be given, we accept kindly. Because why not? Somebody will be. Absolutely. So we're, we're open to anything. But I was thinking the other day what, what really was it that I'm watching the com the com Christmas the commercials on television now that that started six weeks ago. And we, what would really be wonderful is we get learning tools. Learning tools? What, um, what do you mean learning by learning tools? Learning tools are, you know, like Hallmark has reading books where they, they make sounds. Um, and there's other manufacturers that are just for children where they help them with little, like little computers or books or something to learn how to read, learn how to analytically figure out a problem. Um, that kind of thing, you know, where we can really have a, a lesson with kids using these tools to help them get on with their education. So, would you be also thinking that expats that might be looking to expatriate or move to Belize would be an addition to the library to help? Yes. We have a, uh, an organization called the Friends of the Library. Ah. Which, How uh, wonderful! Yeah, and we we meet once a month. We're out right now in, involved in our uh, Christmas raffle and selling raffle tickets for two dollars a piece, which is really you know. So we want to reach the people in Ohio who can afford it. We don't want to do it for fifty dollars a piece. Oh, we're going to look for yeah, two dollars a piece with a good gift of uh, a can and two cases of Coke. Coca Cola. Then we can get more people. And I'm uh, in. <laughs> good. We'll and then what our goal is, 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 is to get a um, a big screen uh, TV and a movie projector and have movies for the kids on different subjects and have discussion groups about it, around it. Also to use it as a for the adults to have instead of a book club, have a movie club. Oh, how fun! Do a movie, show a movie, and then discuss it. Okay. You know, and so it's, it's another way of, of uh, getting together with like-minded people and engaging the brain. So if people want to become friends with the library or maybe have books sitting around they'd like to help with, we can have them contact you and you can help. Sure. Okay. Sure. Just thought I'd ask before I send a bunch of emails to you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll I'll yeah, no, that'd be wonderful. That's nice that you, you can tell in this world there's lots of people that want to give and help, and often you don't get to, to see the benefit of what you have helped, and it's something I love about here. Um, for example, we had a student come in our office today that we have in a scholarship program in college, so it's it's lovely to be able to see firsthand. So I want to come to the library. Oh, we can be my guest. I'll give you, we'll give you a tour. We're, I think we're going to need to follow up with that visit. All right. Because uh, although the uh, Hogany Pole is absolutely gorgeous, we definitely want to show the books, too, and yes. everything else. Yes. And it's, the layout is wonderful. Really, it's very engaging, and um, it engages the imagination. It engages the, the intellectual mind, and it's very welcoming. So the people there who work there are very, very wonderful. Well, thank you for doing all the good oh, stuff you're doing, and what a wonderful life you're having. <laughs> well, why not? Absolutely. Why good not? for you. Yeah. I'm signing out for now.